रक्षा मंत्री जी श्री मनोहर पारिकर जी ऑनरेबल श्री रामदुराय प्रत्युष कुमार सुकंद सिंह देव कूपर स्मिथ एंड टू माय फेलो मिनिस्टर ट्रांसपोर्ट मिनिस्टर तेलंगाना श्री महेंद्र रेड्डी ऑनरेबल लोकल एमपी डॉक्टर नरसैया गौड ऑनरेबल लोकल एमएलए श्री किशन रेड्डी गारू एंड सेक्रेटरी इंडस्ट्रीज अरविंद कुमार and to all the ladies and gentlemen and to all my friends from the media it really is a defining moment in the chapter of aerospace and defense growing by leaps and bounds in india and more so in telangana the state of telangana has traditionally been the leading hub for defense research missile technology and space technology several of the defense public sector undertakings and drdo labs are based in hyderabad we also have a strong cluster of more than 250 precision engineering units operating in aerospace defense and space related manufacturing activities they are known for their quality engineering capabilities and serve as a strong vendor base supporting large oems in india and abroad the state has one of the largest clusters of technical education centers with more than 388 engineering colleges and 524 polytechnic colleges and iti's as well this vibrant ecosystem has ensured that a large supply of home grown skilled manpower with relevant experience is also available is made available at a relatively cheaper cost aerospace and defense industry in india is at a threshold of a huge expansion make in india defense indigenization defense offset policy under the leadership of honorable defense minister shri manohar parikar and relaxed fdi norms have presented enormous opportunities for the private sector to enter into this big area with 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 a lot of intent telangana is one among the first states in india to identify this enormous opportunity and we have taken several proactive steps to to facilitate inflow of investments into this sector since inception about 2 years ago telangana has been on the forefront of launching investor friendly policies such as ts i pass which does not require you to actually seek a clearance from the state government it allows you to self certify as an entrepreneur coming into the state this is found nowhere else in india not with any any other state in india all applications and industrial approvals are online transparent time bound seamless and like i said are based on self certification the act that i just mentioned the ts i pass also provides for stiff penalty on erring employees who cause delays i'm glad to un- also announce that we've granted more than 2000 2130 industrial approvals under tsi pass in the last 10 months alone we've also created three dedicated aerospace and defense parks through the tsiic the telangana state industrial infrastructure corporation besides an aerospace park operated by our airport authority the gmr we're leading domestic and foreign oems and their vendors are setting up their units the government is also coming up with an aerospace and defense policy we in tandem with a lot of inputs from the industry we are working on establishing also an aero skill academy in hyderabad in again conjunction with a lot of international partners we also look forward for making telangana the choice manufacturing base global aerospace and defense oems worldwide today as you are already aware with tata advanced systems limited as the anchor we already have several manu- several players such as sikorsky lockheed martin pratt and whitney i think uh, now with boeing coming in the 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 credibility and the reputation of telangana and hyderabad as a potential hub for aerospace and defense in india has only grown manifold so once again i'd like to compliment both boeing tata advanced systems and also honorable defense minister for encouraging more and more aerospace and defense players in coming into india so i would like to close by saying one thing under your leadership under the leadership of honorable prime minister and under the leadership of our honorable chief minister of telangana we are looking forward to making our state and country more and more investor friendly we are looking also to attract more and more investment not just into the top notch uh, top notch sector of such as aerospace but also we are trying to create a bigger ecosystem with the small and the medium sector and the supply chain which logically flows in also gets created right here in the city of hyderabad once again i congratulate boeing tata advanced systems limited and i would really 
like to thank uh, the Honorable Defense Minister for taking two days of his valuable uh, time and spending it in Hyderabad. Thank you very much.